This is the Zeal Sound K66 microphone that I got to replace the Boya BY-M1 wired mic. Let's see how the mic is. Right out of the box, the mic looks like what you expect. Yeah, watch as I unbox this. It comes in a little kind of dark styrofoam with a very generous amount of accessories. First, we have the manual or the guide which we already need. Then we have the mic itself. Then we have two connectors, two adapters type A to lightning and type A to type C. Then we have the six feet cable that goes into the type C ports of the mic and extends the type A ports where you plug into an adapter depending on what you want to use. Yeah, the six feet cable is quite sufficient from what I've tested. Taking a look at the adapters it comes with, we have the Type A to Type C that works with the mic to your Mac or your iPhone 15 series. Then we have the other adapter, that's the Type A to Lightning that works with the 14 Pro Max and below. Yeah, and it works perfectly, as you'd see. As for the mic itself, we have a well finished, well polished mic. Yeah. I wouldn't really like first impressions were quite impressive yeah because the build quality is very solid like it stays very sturdy on your table it doesn't shake and i don't know how to describe it though but it's a very sturdy and well finished build underneath the mic we have a usb-c port and a 3.5 millimeter jack that lets you monitor if you have like headphones so while you are recording, you can plug your headphones under and listen to what you are recording. And also you can see I connected the Type A to lightning adapter on the Type A end. That's the part that goes into our iPhone. Yeah, if I want to use on my MacBook, I plug in the Type C and the Type A to Type C adapter. So those two adapters are very important. You don't want to lose them. On the body of the mic, we have four buttons. We have the mute, the mic gain. The headphone gain for recording, listening together, and we also have the echo gain. I wouldn't like when I tested out the mic, it was quite tricky to get a hold of or to get the handle of it. Right now, it's in its normal mode here. Yeah. The gain is turned almost to the max, the echo is turned off, and also the headphone gain, which I wouldn't really talk about, is also turned off. Yeah, the headphone gain is just to you know adjust the volume of whichever external device you plug to the headphone jack on the the microphone which i wouldn't really be doing here so let me show you how the gain works when you turn it all the way to the highest it sounds very loud and when you take it down it gradually reduces the microphone gain yeah i'll leave that somewhere around 70 percent for the sake of this video and also for the echo button underneath that's this echo button when you turn it up it kind of sounds like i am in a quiet wide empty room yeah, and when I take it back down, it sounds quite normal. Also, we have the mute button. It's up here. When I now it shows blue and it's back to normal. Also, we have noise cancellation when you hold down this button two times. All right, so noise cancellation is currently on. I don't really know how that sounds or if you can help me, but that's the thing with cheaper mics. The noise cancellation is always crap. So I would advise against using it. Use something third party to clean your audio. And that's it. We are back to normal audio. So all in all, if you're on a budget and you want a starter mic and you're just like a starting creator, you don't really want to spend all your money yet, I would say you should get one of these. But just avoid using the noise cancellation. Just act like it doesn't really exist. Yeah, you can clean your audio with many online solutions nowadays like crisp. Audacity, you know, our phonic Adobe podcast, the rest of them.